Remember when Tesla revolutionised the way it builds cars with a giga casting? Shrinking 70 individual parts down to just one whopping great blob of a casting for its rear assembly? Well, yet again turns out to be a game changer for the auto industry, as others attempt to copy and catch up. And why wouldn't they? As it not only lowers production costs, eliminates excess waste, is quicker and more efficient to build, but it also has a nice benefit to the end consumer too, with lower repair costs and a lot lower insurance groups to boot. Let's take a look at how and why this has come to be. This article taken from Fleet News, mega casting technology used by Tesla, cheaper to repair. Despite initial fears to the contrary, repairs to vehicles using aluminium megacast technology can deliver substantial cost savings compared to traditional multi-piece steel constructions. That's according to a two-year study from Thatchcam Research where Tesla Model Y vehicles, which feature a single-piece aluminium rear floor section, were subject to a series of physical crash tests followed by damage assessments and repair technique tests. The Tesla Model Y's one-piece megacast rear chassis section consolidated Consolidates around 70 individual components into a single aluminium casting to reduce manufacturing time, cost, and environmental impact. Thatchcam Research's work shows that this technique, which several other vehicle manufacturers are planning to introduce, can also reduce repair costs in both partial and full replacement scenarios when compared to conventional steel, multi piece vehicle structures. Our research demonstrates that megacast technology, when properly implemented with comprehensive repair guidelines, can deliver significant benefits for insurers, consumers, and the environment, says Richard Bill Yield, Chief Research and Operations Officer at Thatchcam Research. The Tesla Model Y's repair costs were consistently lower than comparable vehicles with traditional construction while maintaining structural integrity and repairability standards, which reduce the chances of a vehicle being written off in common accidents, improving its life cycle CO2 benefits. The investigation, designed to simulate damage from real-world claims collected from UK insurers and conducted in cooperation with Allianz Centre for Technology AZT, in Germany, subjected vehicles to controlled impact tests at varying severities to assess both damageability and repairability characteristics. Cheaper repairability, of course, will lead to this. The proof really is in the pudding just here. Pre-2025 Model Ys, the rear-wheel drive, for example, was Group 46. However, the new 2025 Model Y Juniper Refresh is now Group 36. That's a full 10 points lower. Thanks to easier repairs, better parts availability, and enhanced safety data sharing with insurers. And it does kind of explain my surprise that a brand new car for myself and my wife cost just £729, I think it was, for the full year. Something that's not too bad considering that we are musicians and it's usually a lot more expensive for us. So there's a very clear drop in insurance groups for the refreshed 2025 Model Y compared to the pre-2025 models. Comparative analysis revealed that the Model Y's mega cast construction delivered consistent cost advantages across multiple scenarios. Partial replacements cost £2,167 less than the Model 3's traditional multi-part steel rear sub-assembly construction, while full replacements saved £519. Let me just explain these numbers in a bit more detail. For minor to moderate damage, the Model Y's mega cast design allows targeted repairs, like replacing a 31 pound rear rail assembly, instead of fixing or replacing multiple steel parts. This saves over 2,000 pounds compared to the Model 3's traditional steel rear sub assembly, which requires more labor and parts. And even a full replacement of the giga casting will save about 519 pounds. So in severe crashes, the entire mega cast component can be replaced for just £716. This is £519 cheaper than replacing the multi-part steel structure in the Model 3 or similar vehicles, as it simplifies the process and reduces labour and material costs. Similar patterns emerged when comparing against other manufacturers' vehicles, with the Model Y demonstrating lower repair costs than other models, including the Mercedes EQE, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and several internal combustion engine vehicles. The key insight from our testing is that vehicle manufacturers must integrate repairability into the design of a mega cast component, explained Darren Bright, Principal Engineer, Automotive Repair at Thatchcam Research. 
In Tesla's case, the inclusion of replaceable cast rear rail assemblies at just £31 each provides a cost-effective solution for minor impacts, while the relatively low cost of full replacement mitigates concerns about more severe damage scenarios. Without this provision of reasonably priced partial and full replacement parts and the associated repair procedures, our findings would have been very different. Tesla, as usual, working against the grain of traditional auto companies by aiming for more affordable repairs to enhance customer value, boost EV adoption and align with its direct-to-customer model, unlike legacy auto companies that rely on dealership and repair networks for profits. Legacy automakers depend on repair costs, benefiting their dealership networks where service and parts are major revenue streams. Tesla, on the other hand, deliberately design cars that don't require servicing, made with parts that last. They don't want you back. The exact opposite of legacy auto companies. Of course accidents happen, which is why Tesla alter the design of parts, such as the rear end of the new Model Y with its three-piece section rather than just one. It's cheaper to replace a small panel than the whole section, as with the old design, in one of the hot spots for accident repairs. Industry implications. The Megacast chassis has important implications for sustainability. In practical terms, lower repair costs means that the damage might have resulted in total loss on a traditionally constructed vehicle is now more likely to be economically repairable. Fewer write-offs translate to more vehicles remaining in service after collisions, preserving the energy and materials already invested in their manufacture and delaying the environmental cost of early replacement. With manufacturers like Toyota, Volkswagen, Volvo and Hyundai announcing Megacast implementation plans, the research provides essential benchmarking data. Toyota's planned implementation will replace 177 components across front and rear castings, while Volvo's single floor pan cast will consolidate 100 components. Tesla has established important precedents for megacast repairability, but our research highlights areas requiring industry-wide standardization, says Bill Yield. As this technology proliferates, establishing comprehensive repair protocols, non-destructive test procedures and technician training programs programs will be essential for maintaining vehicle safety, insurance and life cycle sustainability. Thatchcam Research's findings will inform the development of repair guidelines, training programs and industry standards as the UK automotive sector prepares for this technological shift. The organisation is developing documentation to enhance the industry's existing understanding of megacast implications and will continue to monitor and evaluate new megacast implementations as they emerge in the UK market. I know what you're thinking, extremely exciting stuff, but how does the Giga Casting perform after a collision? Tesla Model Y testing deep dive. In low severity testing at 15 km an hour, the Megacast exceeded expectations by sustaining no structural damage, allowing complete vehicle repair without any work required on the Megacast component itself. This finding challenges initial industry concerns about the vulnerability of large single piece castings to minor impacts. Medium severity testings at 25 km an hour necessitated full megacast replacement due to crack propagation and structural misalignment. However, at £716 for the replacement component, the total repair costs remain competitive with and often below traditional repair methods for equivalent damage. The research highlighted key considerations, including the fact that repairs requiring welding of the aluminium mega cast structure will be conducted at Tesla approved facilities, raising questions about repair network capability as their technology becomes widespread. This requirement could necessitate vehicle transportation between repair centres if the the initial facility lacks appropriate certification, potentially adding time and expense to the repair process. Additionally, the scale and irregular shape of these megacast components present handling challenges for smaller body shops, observes Thatchcam. The study also underscores the importance of implementing clearer non-destructive testing NDT, procedures to effectively identify potential damage in the megacast structure that may not be visible to the naked eye. So thanks to the giga casting, it's cutting repair costs, dropping insurance rates and pushing sustainability, setting the bar for EVs. So what do you think? Are cheaper repairs and a lower insurance group a big deal for your next car? Drop your thoughts below, like, subscribe. A quick thanks to all my recent patrons that have joined. It really does help. Thank you so much. Come on over to patreon.com forward slash Tesla Jigsaw for loads more bonus content from me. A weekly episode just for you. Q&As, meetup opportunities, your name in the end credits just here. All sorts of stuff. Come and have a look. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, patrons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.